Before we begin, please hit subscribe button to receive updates. This procedure to remove ransomware and possible file recovery tutorial video consists of three stages. First procedure, things to do before removing the ransomware virus. Second procedure, removing the ransomware virus using anti-malware and antivirus tools. Third procedure, possible decryption or file recovery using different options. Here are some important things you must do before removing ransomware virus. Do not connect any important backup drives on the infected computer. Make a backup copy of all the encrypted files, including the ransom note and relevant data to a clean media. If there is a need to modify system data like hosts file or Windows registry, please make an effort to do a backup first. After downloading the recommended antivirus and anti-malware scanner, please disable Wi-Fi or internet connection. Isolate the computer to avoid infecting other devices. Because scanning the computer is essential on this kind of virus infection. Please download malware bytes from the provided link. Open the downloaded application. Then, install malware bytes with the default settings. Once fully installed, click on Get Started button. If you want complete protection, click Buy Now, otherwise click on Maybe Later to use the trial version. Do not scan the computer yet. Please close malware bytes another window. Next, we will need to reboot the computer in safe mode. To do this please do the following. First go to Windows Start search box and type msconfig. Then, click the system configuration. Click on the boot tab and click on safe boot. Then, select minimal from the choices. Click on the Apply button and then click the OK button. Finally, Windows will prompt for Computer Restart. Please click on Restart button. After booting in safe mode, we will clean the Windows host's file. Open File Explorer. Then go to C Drive. Then open Windows folder. Open System32 folder. Then open Drivers folder. Finally, open ETC folder. Double click on Hosts file to open. Choose Notepad as an application to open the file. Once you open the Hosts file, Find the suspicious entries and delete them. Save the file in close notepad.
We will also need to delete malicious startup items. Go to Windows Start search box. Then type Run. Click on Run from the result. On the Run field dialog box type Shell colon Startup. On Startup window, select all the malicious items. Delete the selected files to remove them from Startup. Then, close the current window. We will need to scan the computer to remove any viruses. Open Malwarebytes Scanner. Click the Scan button. Scanning the computer will take a while. Please wait for this scan to complete. After the scan, delete all identified viruses. Do not restart the computer yet. Close Malwarebytes window. Finally, we will remove the safe mode to start Windows normally. Go to Windows Start search bar. Type MS Config and select System Configuration from the results. Click on the Boot tab. Please uncheck on the Safe Boot option. Click on Apply and then click OK. Click the Restart button to reboot Windows in normal mode. You may run additional scan after restarting the computer to ensure that no more virus is left on the computer. Although ransomware is one kind of file encrypting virus that is difficult to decipher, there are still ways to recover files affected by this threat. Hence there is no guarantee that the procedures will yield to a 100% recovery of files. As always, there are no one-size-fits-all for the ransomware attack. These recovery procedures may work for some but others may be not be lucky to find this useful. To proceed with the file recovery please click the link below to go to the website. Then, navigate to the specific section about recovering files that are affected by ransomware. As of now we have three options. First is via recommended decryption tools. Second is through Windows previous version tools. And the last one is by using Shadow Explorer. There is no harm in trying these options because you do not have to pay anything. Good luck. Again, please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't done yet.